Good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baker Bakertron and I'm here to bring you a game of Homeworld with hopefully all of the sound effects and music which you should be able to hear and you should also hopefully be able to hear my voice over them which um, well, will make this a lot easier and hopefully slightly more entertaining. So today we have a 1v1, that's already quite a few minutes in before the recording started. Uh, it's 1v1 on the map Subjugate your friends between Captain Jim over here as the sort of green turquoisey teal player. He's from the clan BIB, and his opponent is Lord Rule from the clan SLS. Yes, I got that right, and that's the orange Higaran. Now, this game I believe has already been running for a few minutes before the replay even started recording. So we can already see that both sides have done something slightly different. Lord Rawl has gone for frigates, he's already got two assault frigates out, while his opponent, Captain Jim, doesn't appear to have any. Well, he's got a support frigate out. And instead he's going to be relying on these repair corvettes to just keep his light corvettes in the fight. So, who knows which way that, that can go. Uh, Captain Jim also, I believe, has defenders out somewhere on the map. There. So they could play a role. And his opponent has his research ship in the middle of the map. I'll just give him a bit more information. So at the moment, both sides going for slightly different strategies, but still nothing amazingly strange or weird that we've never seen before about the strangest thing probably is these repair corvettes which I've got a feeling won't last very long against the assault frigates but the assault frigates are going to be going after the, the light corvettes anyway and with five repair corvettes and a support frigate themselves I think these are pretty pretty vulnerable at the moment they're not even shooting back but now we can see uh, Lord Rawl focusing his fire onto the sport frigate, which is going to be a lot more useful. Meanwhile, Captain Jim sort of ignoring the frigates and going straight for the resourcing operation. I hope, really do hope you can still hear me over the sound of all the battle chatter, because I really do enjoy those sounds, but I also enjoy being heard. We can just see cam scouts kamikaze into various corvettes. It's really difficult to tell who comes out ahead on this, but it looks like Captain Jim has cleared up this area. And Lord Ro Change, Lord Rawl, it's Lord Rawl. His strikecraft aren't all in the fight yet. So Captain Jim is, is definitely establishing superiority in the strikecraft in this area very early on. Uh, he's still managed he's managed to keep his support fleet alive. He could heal it up with these. Oh. It does kind of look like it's in Captain Jim's favour, simply because he was, well, he had a far better use of the scouts, and he came, he came away from that scout fight with a lot more, well, a lot more of them. He was more efficient in the kamikazeing, and he, his main casualties were in the light corvettes, but he still got, I think, he lost about six, still got three left. And the assault frigates are only good against those three ships. No, they're not going to be able to hit these. These corvettes, though, could swing it back into Lord Change's favour if they get some support themselves. Uh, the problem is, is they're kind of not. They're kind of stuck on their own in the middle. This resource harvester is damaged and threatened, and it's not going to take. Captain Jim long to clear up the handful of corvettes there. Meanwhile, more frigates slowly moving into battle. But they're not even firing on anything at the moment, which is probably costing Lord Change heavily. Captain Jim has this huge force at the back as well. He's got defenders, scouts, interceptors. He's even got an attack bomber. And that's really going to counter Lord Change's frigates quite heavily. I believe Lord Change also is starting to suffer some damage in the resourcing operation. We can see the striker just focusing down this harvester right at the bottom there. 
and with with the attack bombers coming in now, it's not gonna. It's probably not gonna survive that long. Although, well, the lone attack bomber isn't going to do much, but there's just so many other craft there. The frigates of your change just unable to unable to do the damage they need to do. Really, they've pulled back actually, and they've gone down gone down to this part of the map and. Going after the resource controller is quite useful, as that'll definitely slow down all of Captain Jim's harvesting. But I think he should have done this two minutes ago. I think Captain Jim's strike after advantage is just pretty much it's very solid at the moment. Of course, we all know how to get out of that. Gravwell generator would allow Lord Change to just swing in, and his frigates would just become absolutely devastating especially with iron frigates as well I bet the only only thing of Captain Jim's that could survive that would be the huge amount of defenders he has since I think they can stay out of range but they're not very good at dodging anyway so it doesn't make a huge amount of difference more attack bombers coming in this frigate force it's gonna have a rough fight ahead of it and that's assuming that Lord Change manages to keep his harvesters intact, which I'm not sure he has. He's got a mine laying corvette out, but it's not it's it's uh, right at the back. It's been utterly useless. Otherwise I think he might even be out of out of harvesters. Let's see if we can get a closer look. Yep, yeah, I'm not seeing any harvesters for him anywhere. He's sort of getting, trying to get these figures to hunt down this harvester of Captain Jim. But his support craft are getting slowly getting worn down by the enemy strike craft. Yes, he does. So is this a different type of... I don't know, that's still the repair corvettes are still hanging in the fight. There's only a couple of them left, but I think they could well have paid for themselves. Meanwhile, this figure group is definitely finding itself. I think it's on a bit of a fall's errand here. Really, okay. It killed one harvester. There's two over here, and now the frigates are just finding themselves utterly surrounded. And hopefully, we can get we can get a call view if the ship turns around of it doing an attack run on all the frigates. There we go. I love this view. So we can just see how badly the frigates just fail against scouts, interceptors, attack bombers, they're good against corvettes, certainly, but against this, it's it's not what they need. Are those, let's see, were they salvage corvettes? Yes, we have salvage corvettes. They're not moving in, they could go for, well, it's got enough to go for a frigate, but I think maybe he needs three, or is he three for the destroyer? and two for frigates. I can't remember off the top of my head, but certainly he could send them in and even if they can't capture it, the assault figures would have to focus them down out of fear that a third one will come along and that will give his strike craft even more opportunities to destroy the frigates, even though they really don't need it. We can just see how was this small strike craft advantage that Captain Jim got off at the very start of the game, building up, building up, 21 defenders, 20 scouts, 20 interceptors, 10 attack bombers, 20 light corvettes. That's absolutely sick. And I think Captain Jim has won. Yes, there's just there's nothing left for his opponents. So I'd like to congratulate Captain Jim. All oh, these salvage fig corvettes have worked. I would like to cap captive capture. Congratulate Captain Jim and commiserate Lord Change. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope I've been audible throughout and I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please like or subscribe and I'm hoping now that Lord Change realizes he's probably not going to win this and leaves the game because otherwise I could be here talking for the next 10 minutes and that would just be embarrassing now in fact I'm gonna call this early I, I don't think uh, he can, I don't think he has a chance I think if, if, if I don't call this early it will we'll just sit here and watch for 10 minutes the mothership getting focused down by these 
So, thank you for watching, and goodbye.